Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to learn how we can change the send from address in a Power Automate. So it's a very generic problem. So if we create any Power Automate for let's say for HR site or for any booking system, then it usually takes up uh, your name or your email address while sending the uh, notifications. So that's pretty odd. So how to change that? So I am going to show you the two ways in which you can change the from address and have that address specifically as a generic one. So let's uh, jump to the Power Automate. So I have just opened it and I'm going to give you a demo that how you can change the from address. So I'm going to create one instant flow and uh, I'm going to uh, say it as a manual trigger and because it's just a demo so in your actual requirement you can have it uh, trigger on the basis of item created for example you are creating a uh, room reservation then it would be just uh, uh, trigger on the new item created in your room reservation list so right now I'm just choosing manual trigger flow because I would like to show you that uh, how, how to change the from address so I'm naming it let's say from address flow all right so in next step if I just choose send email action just to give you a actual problem outlook send email So whenever you're going to choose the send email, for example, I'm choosing the send email and I'm just adding up my name, test subject, test from, and just a body. So this is a generic email which we usually use while sending the notifications. So I'm just saving it and triggering it just to give you what will happen. Alright, so it's successful and now I'll just go to my mailbox. Okay, now you can see if it's a some production flow and if it's saving or uh, sending notification for a room reservation then it's taking my name that's pretty much odd so every time whatever notification it will send it will take your name the person who has created the flow or the person who has made that connector so this is the problem we are going to solve so I am going to show you the option number one how you can change it so I'm just uh, deleting this action and I will put up a different action which will allow you to send the email from Power Apps and Power Automate. I mean like it will just change the address to a generic one so that uh, your users would not get confused. At least it's a better way than the earlier one. So I'm just uh, typing send an email notification and this is the connector which I am going to use because it's going to use the SMTP connection and you need to just uh, create a connection for email you have to accept it and now you can type it type your usernames I mean like dynamically you can pick up just for the demo purpose I'm just hard coding that in subject you can just put test subject in body you can put body and I'm saving this you can also have a look on the advanced options so though like for our demo it would not require I'm just saving it and then running it all right so it ran and now I am again going to my mailbox just to check whether I received or it or not. So now you can see it did send out that notification and now the address is generic one 
Microsoft Power Apps and Power Automate is pretty much better than the previous one because confusing the users with your name so that's why we should avoid using this connector rather we should use this one from the power user or the end user perspective the people who are not pretty much familiar with the complex flows then they can simply use this one this connector send email notifications with SMTB and now I'm going to tell you the second option which is more intuitive and which is probably the best way of doing it just to use the HTTP request so I'm just going to create a new step and in this step I am going to use send HTTP request to SharePoint so what actually I am trying to do over here is I'll be using the SharePoint site uh, to send out the emails and it will take the tag of the SharePoint site with a no reply so that's pretty much right way because let's say if uh, I'm having meeting room uh, reservation system and I would have one SharePoint site for that meeting room then it's uh, pretty intuitive that the, the email should be from that uh, meeting room site only. So I'm just selecting this uh, action and in the drop down you can pick whatever site you would like to choose from in, in, in the uh, send to address so I can choose this SPFX site so it's my dev environment so I'm just choosing this one for the actual site for example meeting room reservation you would be choosing meeting room reservation site and in this method we have to use post and under URI because we are going to use the send email EP, email utility for this so we have to paste the address the rest address of uh, this send email so I'm just copy pasting which I have already written. So you can see sp.utility is dot utility send email. So we are going to use this endpoint for this. And under the headers, standard header, accept and application JSON. So I can just copy paste rather than typing. Now, now in the body we have to enter the data in a proper formatted uh, way so I am just copying it I can show you what the format would be and I will just paste all these information in my comments as well in the description so now you can see in properties we have to pass this two and this two properties actually an array so that's why we are adding that square bracket over here and under that you can add up multiple addresses so as I said it's a demo so I just hard coded it otherwise you can just pick that up from the dynamic content and in the subject you can just simply say new test email in body you can again say whatever you want or you can just pick the data from your uh, any previous step uh, where you are composing the complex uh, body so it's just the, the, the flavor like how you can use this action so now I'm saving it and I'm just trying to run this one and running that flow and it's done so it takes a bit more time than the previous steps so it did run and I'll go to my mailbox to check what I get right so in my this system I got this new test email which was sent by my action my flow and now you, you can see it's no reply SharePoint online.com so if you are a SharePoint developer or you have worked with SharePoint this is a pretty familiar address to you so it's the right way of doing it so if you want to change the from address now it's the pretty much standard way so rather than this because the SPFX is my test site so you can have your system name uh, whatever system name HR intro, HR portal or talent integration portal whatever portal it will write up there and the notification is from there so it's it's the actual right way of doing this so not too much complex it's a standard one even the power users or the end users who are creating flows by themselves 
can have this in place so I hope uh, this would be beneficial for you that's it for today thank you